everyone, Lynette here with Charm Grammy Crochet. How is everybody doing today? Oh, let me fix this because I'm going to lean back. There we go. Uh, I trust everyone is doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, let's see. Today is Wednesday. It's uh, about 9 or 9.30 in the morning this morning. Um, so hopefully I'll get this video edited and up and running today. <laughs> uh, I... And I'm so excited to tell you that I have some happy mail. And I'm real thrilled with it. So I would like to just jump on and show you that real quick. Because um, I actually really want to get into what's in the bag. <laughs> I know what's... I, I've opened it. I opened it from... Uh, I opened it, so we'll, we'll go into that. Um, but first off, I got this really cute card. Um, this is a... a a get well card uh, and says heard your surgeon surgeon has a good sense of humor uh, they say she'll have you uh, in stitches <laughs> and so this is from my friend Pat and I appreciate it so much Pat I love Snoopy and Woodstock and it really did brighten my day when I got the card um, and, and I, I am just thrilled to have it so thank you so very much uh, and uh, I didn't get stitches. I know, they use glue now. I'm like, whoa. But, um, I didn't know that until after the surgery. <laughs> uh, if you didn't know, I had my knee replaced uh, two and a half weeks ago. Um, my right knee. So I'm not allowed to drive still. Uh, I don't think I could actually work the brake pedal. Uh, I think that would hurt too much at this point. Uh, but I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I'm getting around. I have one really sore spot. Uh, gets real sore real easy. Um, and so you just got to strengthen and work that work that stuff out, you know. So I had my first at the hospital physical therapy. I've had uh, people coming in. And uh, I graduated home therapy. And now I'm allowed to go out and go to therapy. Which is good for me, but kind of sad for my husband because he has to drive me <laughs> so we have to like arrange schedules and it's but uh that's how I'm gonna get better and you know that's the whole plan so back to the happy meal uh Joe from Joe's Web if you don't know Joe uh she has a, a wonderful channel she does she loves to make amigurumi she is extremely good at that she makes garments um and she's good at that as well. She's And she's just a sweetheart. Um, and she has a beautiful yarn while she films in front of. Uh, and, and she's a good friend. So she went to Hobby Lobby. And they had yarn on sale there that I I didn't make it to Hobby Lobby this year uh, for the yarn sales. Um, by the time I could get to a Hobby Lobby, it was it, there was no yarn left. Uh, I went to, I think, two or three stores. And, I mean, that's okay because um, I've gone to Hobby Lobby and gotten way more than my fair share. Uh, anyway, she had yarn that I didn't even see in my store. Uh, well, it was cleared out, so, you know. Uh, that she really doesn't even want to use. Um, once she got it home, she's like, what am I going to do with this yarn? So I'm going to show you that. And because I know what I want to do with it. <laughs> and I was, like, disappointed that I couldn't get any at my stores. I thought, um, I thought, hmm, why doesn't my stores have that? <laughs> Somebody must have snatched it all up or we didn't have it or what. I don't know. Um, but she did also include, so we'll go through this first, uh, some goodies in the bag besides the yarn. So I got this llama ruler. Isn't it adorable? It is, uh, what, six inches? Yeah, like the neck measures six inches. So cute, right? I totally love that. And she gave me a Bello Coco five millimeter purple hook with stitch markers. Love that, and it's sparkly. If you can't tell, there's sparkles on there. Totally love that. Um, Joe lives in Louisiana near New Orleans. So she always sends something Mardi Gras when she sends a package. <laughs> See, we should take a picture of that, right? Okay, maybe we'll put that in the thumbnail. 
well, it'll be Mardi Gras here in uh, in the yarn room today. Um, and she included a keychain with a ball of yarn on it and a little bee. It's a like a beehive ball of yarn and there's a little bee in there and everything. It's so cute. And then there is a pin that says, Skein on, girl. <laughs> I love that. And that was all included in this adorable little bag. Like, it would fit a cake of yarn so fabulously. Um, and it is reversible. So you've got, and it's the keyhole style thing. Then you can just throw it on your arm real quick. How cute. Um, and then it's the leopard print or the, what is it? Yeah, that's leopard, right? Or I think this is snow leopard supposed to be. I don't know. But then if you reverse it, it's white. It, cute, right? I like the leopard print better. Um, and it's dark. Dark is always good. Uh, you know, if you're going to like sit it on things or whatever. I mean, not that my yarn bags get dirty. But so adorable. I totally love it. All right. So um, then she had this bag filled with yarn. Uh, as I said, it's yarn that she didn't particularly want to use. She lives, like I said, in um, New Orleans. And it's real hot there. Well, she lives outside of New Orleans. Anyway, uh, it's this yarn. It is the Cotton XL New Spin. And this is called Marble Dawn. It is a five weight. It was discontinued, as I said. Um... She got it on their, at their last clearance. It is a five weight, three and a half ounce, 100 gram, 50 yards, 46 meters, 77% cotton, 23% acrylic. It almost reminds me of Arabella. Remember when they got rid of Arabella? I, I so love that yarn. It is so soft and squishy. Um, I, I was actually um, really surprised at how soft it was. And... My original plan when um, when Hobby Lobby did their last clearance was that uh, I saw Rose from Rose Likes Crochet. She said she was going to try to make mark bags out of this yarn. And so she bought some. And I thought, oh, that would be such a good idea. I've never tried a market bag out of a thick yarn. Um, but I have made market bags, uh, like messenger bags I made for my granddaughter and her uh, friends at school, made for myself, made for Chloe without her friends at school, and done, you know, made them and doubled the yarn, um, like a cotton and an acrylic, because the cotton would keep it from stretching, and so that would, you know, be a similar way, and I, but this is so soft, um, I love it, so anyway, this color this uh, marbled dawn, very neutral, very soft and squishy, very um, cozy. I, I'm gonna, I want to call it cozy. I have here, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think a dozen, a dozen of these at how many yards? 50 yards. So that's 500 yards, right? No, 600 yards. What am I talking? Five times 12, 600 yards of this marble dawn color. And like it's so, you just want to make like a big cowl or a warm like campfire poncho I I don't know if 600 yards would be enough for that definitely enough for like a big old cow but um kind of want it to be like something I can curl up in because it's so it's just so soft and squishy then there were also and I love this color and there's like two different dye lots of this color. So uh, first it's this, it, this color is called Boho Al Fresco. 
and this looks more just the the neutral um that comes with you know it's got the neutral and then like the acrylic is the shiny part well in this one you're getting it, uh, a lot of the neutral but then there's this same colorway same colorway um and i I love it. Look at all the, like there's purples and blues and browns. Oh, it's so pretty. And so there's five of these. Um, so 50 yards. It's 250 yards. This may be a cowl. Um, and then there was one of these. And this one is called Bath Bomb. I think this is my favorite colorway. Because <laughs> it's got the brighter colors in it. Even though, like, I love, I just, I just love the colors. Um, this one's got that really gorgeous purple lavender color in there that I just can't seem to not want to stare at. Um, and then grays in, like, a teal. And this has, you know, these. So I'm thinking, um, I want to see if I could get it. I know I wanted to make a market bag, and I think this would be ideal for the front of a market bag. And then I could take, well, for one side and make these into another side. Well, actually, probably do the, do these two, you know, like this into the other side and the handle, or do these. Um, the ones that are darker handle out of this. I, that might be it. Um, front side, back side, and handle. And then that would still leave me three. 150 yards in a five weight. Would that make a cowl? Because it just needs to be something you can cuddle into. That's what I have determined that this needs to be. Um, and I do still want to make a market bag. So I think I can do that. And I really and truly, I got to see how far it goes. I'm not that... Um, versed in uh, five weight yarn, experienced in five weight yarn to know how far 600 yards of this will go as far as like a a cuddly wrap or a poncho. It's, I'm sure not enough to make a blanket um, and I wouldn't send it to Boggy Creek because it's a five weight cotton and it's they're in Florida. <laughs> this is Ohio cozy, comfy, squishy yarn. And um, I really want to get my hook. Come back here, come back here, where are you? I can't wait to get my hook on that one to start. Uh, I, and I'm thinking just a big granny solid, a solid square. Uh, solid granny square, not the one with all the little holes in it. I don't want that. Um, I want to try a solid granny square um, and see how far that yarn goes. And then that might be able to give me, well, I can go to my chart. I have a chart. It's just hiding in the yarn room, and I haven't walked in there yet. Um, and and see how much of a five-weight yarn you need for a cowl be, or, or a poncho. Um, maybe like a V-style. I made, out of homespun, a long rectangular poncho. Like you buttoned it on the sides. I love that thing. I put a big pocket on the front of it and a big, you know, collar like that. Uh, and I think I used like eight or nine skeins of homespun, which I know I'm one of the only people on the face of the planet that don't, that don't mind homespun because it's soft and squishy and comfy, uh, comfy to wear. Not necessarily the easiest to work with, but don't screw it up and you're okay. <laughs> okay, I screw it up all the time, but, you know, it was worth it to me. Um, this says to use, I'm trying to see, what size hook? Oh, there it is, duh. It says use a 9 millimeter. I was thinking 10, so that would work. Uh, 10, or, 10 or maybe a little bigger. But I'm going to play with this today. I'm so excited to get that downstairs and on a hook because I don't have any of my bigger hooks or all downstairs um so that's what i got from joe and it is going to live in this bag immediately um let me just 
yep, it is immediately going to live in this bag. I am very excited to you. Right there. There she goes. We're going to start right there. <laughs> this is better for a cake yarn, but it'll, it'll work to start this with. And I will probably keep it inside another um, bag for carrying up and down my poor husband. He has to carry my projects up and down the stairs all day long. And I'm going to put this on there. This little pin is going to go right on this bag. Because it's like skein on and then one skein fits in this bag. It's like perfect, right? I think it was made for this bag. And it'll bling it up a little, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool. Okay, here we go. Come on. Perfect. Love it. Yay. Thanks so much, Joe. Totally love this. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, hitting the thumbs up, doing all the things, um, making a comment. What do you guys think about a blanket for that yarn? Or not a blanket, a poncho. Even those chunky blankets. I'm really, every time I see a chunky blanket, I'm like, oh, I want one of those. I, I, I don't know what's gotten into me lately. <laughs> I want to play with chunky yarn. Maybe because fall is coming and we've had some cooler days and um, I don't know, like the big, I don't like to wear cowls. I don't like having things around my neck, but when I get, uh, when it started with that darn Alabara, when I, uh, Arabella yarn, when I bagged that up to put in my attic to put away and I just put it up against my neck, I'm like, I just want this here, this big, bulky, chunky, but not tight nothing tight but just I want that and, and I, I wanted it in that yarn at that time <laughs> and I now every time I see something the Hirschner's catalog just came out and it had some big chunky and I'm like I, I love that I totally love it and I never have in the past I'm changing things are changing I'm evolving <laughs> maybe that's it I don't know um, but anyway thank you so much for uh, like I said uh, doing all the things for coming back again and again. Um, and I'm going to cut this short now. Or cut this off now. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.